tell somebody. So you don't want to tell anybody you've been molested? Why? You scared, shy, embarrassed, ashamed? The only person that should be ashamed is the person that molested you. Tell your story. Help save lives. Tell somebody. Ever since I told the story of me being molested, people keep messaging me asking me how am I so courageous and so strong to tell my story. But truth is, we're all strong. We're all courageous. You just got to believe in yourself. Tell somebody. People keep asking me when should they tell and how should they tell if they've been molested. When? Now. How? Tell them the truth. Don't sugarcoat anything. Tell them who, what, when, where, why. Tell them all the details. People need to know. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Someone messaged me and asked me, am I just now telling my story of molestation so I can get 15 minutes of fame? 15 minutes? I'm trying to get a million minutes. Not a fame, but to bring awareness that child molestation does happen. Tell somebody. Because when my grandma used to go to the store or go for a run in the morning, my grandfather used to come in whatever room I was in with a porn magazine and flip through the pages and ask me could he do things to me that were in the magazines. And I used to tell him yes, because I didn't know any better. So tell somebody and teach your kids. Because like I said before, what you don't teach your kids, they're going to learn from the first person that does. This is me when I was four or five years old. And this is the man that molested me. His name is Ted DeJong. He was my grandfather. Look how cute I was. And look at him. He just looks like a sick old pedophile. But he's dead now. He died of some type of rare lung disease. So, When I was about seven years old, I told my aunt, Linda Reese of Texas, and my mom, Judy DeJong of Fairfield, and my aunt, Sharon Clapman of Santa Cruz, that I was getting molested by my grandfather, Ted DeJong of Roseville, California.